This presentation is brought to you by Brain Court Therapy. If you or a family member are struggling with attention deficit hyperactive disorder, you may have reservations about the powerful stimulants typically used to treat it. Luckily, there is another non-drug option. It's known as neurofeedback. ADHD is one of the most commonly diagnosed mental disorders in children, but not all treatments require medication. It is a condition that makes it hard to concentrate on individual tasks. It makes a person become easily bored and frustrated and often causes impulsive behavior. People with ADHD struggle with time management, organizational skills, and often find it difficult to secure and maintain employment. ADHD also affects people's relationships and self-esteem and makes those who have it more susceptible to addictions. ADHD can make it difficult for a person to function normally in school and at home, and it's more common than you think. A study in March of 2013 in the Ar Archives of Pediatrics and Adolescent Medicine found that up to 7.5% of school-aged children have some form of ADHD. That is nearly 1 in 13 people, or one affected person in every third American household. ADHD treatments usually require a powerful stimulant the most common of which are drugs from the family of amphetamines, the same group from which the street drugs called speed and meth derive from. Many people are understandably concerned about these ADHD treatments, especially when it comes to children. No one wants to medicate their child if at all possible, and in many cases the added energy and stimulation that comes from the drugs like Adderall and Dextrodrine causes different, worse problems in children. Luckily, non-drug ADHD treatments have emerged within the last year, and among them, the most prominent and safe is called neurofeedback treatment. This uses EEG to record electrical activity within the brain. People can learn to become aware of their physiological responses to ADHD and exercise better control over their frontal lobe, which is the center of executive functioning in the brain. People with ADHD tend to have different EEG patterns than those without the disorder. So neurofeedback can help a therapist teach a patient to control their brain activity, usually through a video game. Best of all, neurofeedback was approved by the American Academy of Pediatrics in November 12 as level one or best support treatment option for children. Studies have shown that neurofeedback is just as effective as a regimen of 30 milligrams of Ritalin, which is a psychostimulant drug per day. After the treatment regimen is finished, usually between 5 and 20 total hours of therapy, there are no drugs to take, only relief from this frustrating and sometimes debilitating mental disorder. For more information or to schedule a consultation with your local Brain Corps clinic, please visit our website at www.braincorptherapy.com.